Hello again from Discount Water Softeners. The following video is instructions on how to install your either four or five stage reverse osmosis system from Discount Water Softeners. First and foremost, um, when you receive your unit, you will uh, have the actual reverse osmosis system, your tank, various small parts and filter wrench, as well as filters separate from the system. You'll also receive a bag containing your instructions and um, tubing. That's On some of them they're color-coded, on others they're not. But we're going to go over how they install anyway, so you don't have to worry about the color coding. Um, the water line to this unit comes in on the right. Um, there'll be a fitting there, a quick connect fitting that's quarter inch. So um, the quarter inch tubing is the smaller tubing. In the color coded uh, one, it is either blue or black. We typically like to install the blue line there uh, because it's for water coming in. And that goes back to your either saddle valve, which clamps onto your um, copper pipe. And then it's a self-piercing saddle valve where you tighten it down and then um, it pierces the valve. What we like to use and is a lot better, which is optional, is an angle stop uh, valve. And this simply, if you're installing in a sink, um, you're going to unscrew your uh, flexible line for your cold water on your faucet, um, screw this onto the angle shutoff, and then screw your flexible line onto here. And what that provides you is a quick connect and shutoff valve all in one. Um, this is optional on any of our uh, soft, uh, excuse me, on our reverse osmosis systems, and uh, that'll really make your installation a lot quicker and easier. So that feeds the reverse osmosis system. Um, from there, the water then travels through this first housing and then the second housing. If you have a five stage, you'll have three housings. Your very first housing is your sediment filter. You'll need to remove the wrapper and paper inside, unscrew this housing with the provided wrench, and it will, um, it will house that, uh, that sediment filter. If you have a um, uh, four stage, you'll have one of these uh, carbon filters, either uh, activated carbon or uh, carbon block, and you will put that in there after you take off the wrapper. And if you have a five stage, there'll actually be a second one in the middle. And then the final filter is actually your membrane. That membrane is housed inside of this uh, uh, filter housing. And it goes just the way I have it here. You need to take it out of the plastic, slide it into this, you know, remove this cap, slide it in, and uh, you may have to turn it as you're sliding it in to get it into place. If this stem is sticking out too far, you're going to need to just twist it a little bit. Sometimes it's good to lubricate the black seal there, and that'll help it and make it easier to, to put it in. Um, once you're done there, you can obviously tighten this back up. And then your connections from there, you've already got your blue line going into this side. Your connections from there are to the tank as well as the uh, drain and faucet. So you have four connections. Um, your supply line in. The T on the right side of this filter is going to be a 3 8 inch fitting, and that is going to go to your tank. And the tank also has a quick connect that comes with, and you're going to have to screw that on and then make your quick connect there. We typically use the yellow tube for that. And then you have your, so your quick connect from there back to the T here. And then the connection to your faucet is from the outlet of this final uh, inline filter. And from there, you will be going into the bottom of the faucet that comes with your unit. Um, and that also has a 3 8 inch. So you'll need to screw this on to the bottom of the faucet after you install it in the countertop. Um, and uh, that will be your connection there. And the final connection is on the back side here, which is on your drain. This is a quarter inch line out of a quick connect fitting as well. And that is gonna go either to an open drain or you do get a hose clamp, or excuse me, a drain clamp uh, hose connector. 
where you can drill a hole through the pipe above your trap under your sink this clamps on and you can just simply drill your hole and there's a compression connection there so that is pretty much it if you have more questions you can always email us at support at discountwatersofteners.com. Uh, one last thing is if you're going to make a separate connection on the reverse osmosis system to your uh, refrigerator or to another source, you want to tap into the line after the final polishing filter, this inline filter. So if you're going to put a T in, you want to bring that line out T, put a T you can buy at Home Depot a 3 8 inch uh, three-way T and um, you can tee off and go to another fixture or your refrigerator ice maker the one thing you want to make sure is you don't exceed about 15 feet if you exceed more than 15 feet the pressure to that uh, location is going to be very slow uh, the flow rate is going to be very slow and the pressure will be really low so if you need more help with that we do sell um, uh, delivery pumps where you can add an electric pump to it and you can go really far with it but uh, if it's less than 15 feet or so you should be able to uh, just tee off and go to the ice maker or, or refrigerator water any other assistance please feel free to email us thanks have a great day